back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a fun one. It's going to be all about WGU, also known as Western Governors University. If you guys didn't know, I literally just finished my master's program online at WGU. I submitted my final assignment yesterday and so it feels so good to be done. I'm so excited and honestly just proud of myself for completing this program. My diploma is going to be coming in the mail in like one to two weeks so that's just going to be such a surreal feeling once I get that diploma in my hands. Obviously getting your master's is a lot of work, a lot of time, a lot of effort and I did it and I'm so excited about it. So I'm just going to kind of give you guys an overview of my experience at WGU. This was very highly requested over on my Instagram. I receive messages about WGU daily. I'm also going to be answering some of your guys' questions that you guys asked me over on Instagram about WGU. That's what today's video is going to be. If you are new here, hello, my name is Healy. I'm a first year kindergarten teacher. I've been vlogging my whole experience. I've been loving every minute of it. And so if you would like to see more of my videos, please make sure to hit the subscribe button so you can see them and also give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy and let's get into this video so to start off with obviously this video is all about wgu which stands for western governors university it is an online college program that you can do you can also do your bachelor's there but i did my master's program and so the program that i did was an ms a master's in curriculum and instruction and i loved it it was very highly recommended to me by other people that work at my district and at my school um, that is how I found out about WGU, just from different people that recommended it to me, and so I ended up doing it. So, as I said, I did the Master's in Curriculum and Instruction, so that's the program that I know most about. So I don't know very much about the other programs, so I can only really speak to my experience with this program. But overall, I really enjoyed the program. The program is 13 courses. How WGU is set up is that it is a self-paced, competency-based program. So they charge in six month terms. So each term is six months. That means that you pay each six months that you are in the program that you are in. The cost for each term is $3,385. So every term you pay that amount. So if you finish your program in six months, like I did, you only pay that amount one time. With that, there are also scholarships and um, discounts available. So for example, I worked at a Title I school, so I qualified for a small discount on my tuition. I don't remember exactly how much it ended up being, but maybe like $100. I don't actually know for sure, don't quote me. But there are ways that you can get scholarships or um, small discounts based on where you work or um, different things like that. There are also payment plans. So if you don't wanna pay that money all up front at the beginning of your term, they do offer a payment plan where it that amount is split into four different payments without interest. And so it ends up being like, I don't know, $800 each time um, that you pay. And then it's just for the first four months that you're in that term. So like, say that you start in December, like I did, I paid December, January, February, and March. And then April and May, you don't pay because you like paid it all already, if that makes sense. <laughs> so as I mentioned, WGU is a competency-based program college. So that means that it's self-paced and that means that you don't need to spend time on things that you already learned. So for example, one of the things that I did during the program was on research. I personally did not know anything about research or the different types of research or anything like that. My friend though, who did the program with me, she had taken research classes in her undergrad. So she didn't have to do as much reading on the different types of research as I did, because all you have to do is pass the assessment. And so she was able to pass the assessment without doing as much reading, whereas I had to do more reading because I didn't know anything about it. So I really like that it's flexible, self-paced, and something that you can work through at your own timing. So for the specific program that I did, which is MS in Curriculum Instruction, there are 13 courses, one of those being the capstone course. In each course, there's about three to six different um, assessments, and it depends on each course. So the course is kind of set up where you will have different readings that you are going to have to work through and they also have like mini courses inside of each course and the mini course is basically like it walks you through the readings and it will like ask you like comprehension questions and just like checking in on the things that you're reading and just making sure you're like understanding it you can choose to do that or you can just choose to do the readings and take your own notes which is what i did and i recommend because it saved me a lot of time but there's just tons and tons of resources inside each course that you can use to help you on the assessment so all the assessments in my program were paper assessments so that means that i had to write papers answering different questions or different essays stuff like that so there's one objective assessment in the entire program that i was in that objective test is like the research foundations course it's one of the research ones 
and that one you have to sign up for like a proctor to proctor you while you're taking it and they like come onto your computer and they just like make sure you're not te cheating and stuff and it's a multiple choice assessment and so you have that was the only one that was not a paper and so everything else is papers so that means that it's a lot of writing if you don't like writing maybe this isn't the program for you but i personally don't love writing but i don't hate it and it was perfectly fine for me some of the assessments you also have to create like powerpoints to go along with your papers but it was totally doable for me for each course there are course instructors obviously those course instructors are there for you if you need help i personally did not have to reach out to any of my course instructors except for my capstone course instructor i just wasn't the type of student that i want to reach out unless i really need help and so for me it worked perfectly because i didn't have to be with them or do any like required meetings or anything like that which i preferred because i would rather just work through something on my own and if i have questions then i will reach out and so i personally did not talk to any of my course instructors besides my capstone course instructor so in your capstone you get to choose your research topic so i chose kindergarten narrative writing are we surprised probably not i was a little bit overwhelmed at first by the capstone just because i saw some example capstones and the papers were like 30 pages and i was like holy cow that is gonna be so hard how the heck am i gonna do that it honestly was not very overwhelming the assessments that are in the course really walk you through it like step by step so it like breaks it apart so that it's very doable and very outlined and so i did not feel overwhelmed at all honestly the capstone was like the easiest course for me um, which is kind of funny but it was just like it was really well done. I really appreciated the way that the capstone was set up for my program. Also with WG, you are assigned a student mentor. And I really liked having a student mentor. You have to meet with them weekly or bi-weekly, depending on where you're at in your program. And they're just there for you as a resource to kind of check in and keep you on track. They'll send you like a schedule of how many courses you need to complete at a time based on when you want to be done. So for example, I wanted to be done in six months and so we talked about how many courses I need to complete each week to be able to do that goal. The only thing that I will say, the only negative thing about my experience at WGU was my student mentor at times. The first time that I told her that I wanted to be graduated in six months, she wasn't as encouraging or supportive as I would have wished. She kind of just outlined, she just was honest and said, you know, how hard it was going to be and how much work it was going to be. And it felt kind of discouraging because I felt like she should have been a little bit more supportive. But overall, I really enjoyed my time with her and I thought she was perfectly fine. But I would just say if your student mentor is not as supportive as you would like, just use that as motivation to get it done when you would like to, because that's what I did. <laughs> okay, so my experience overall, it took me a little less than six months to complete my master's which i wanted i put my mind to it and i put in a lot of work a lot of time and i decided to make that happen that's how long it took me to complete my master's but honestly i think the average for this program that i did the master's in curriculum instruction i think it's average that people take about a year it was not hard for me to do this as a full-time teacher because I would not work on it during the school week. I am not a mom yet. I just have my husband and we are at home with our two cats. I don't have as many responsibilities outside of teaching that I am obligated to meet different requirements. So for me, how I did it is I would set aside one day on the weekend to dedicate just to WGU. So usually it was a Saturday and I usually would work through the entire course on Saturday. <laughs> and sometimes if a paper got returned for um, edits then I would fix them during the week because they're just usually quick little edits but the majority of the work that I put into WGU I did on the weekends I loved 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 how self-paced and flexible this program is I cannot highly recommend it enough I knew that I would not have been able to do a program that required me to do certain things by a certain day or had really rigid deadlines and stuff or if I had to meet in person because you can't do that as a full-time teacher at least I can't so the teachers I do that props to you because I needed to be in control of my program. I needed it to be self-paced. I needed it not to be a waste of my time. I needed it to be something that worked for me. So for me, this worked brilliantly. I cannot highly recommend it enough. I love this program and it worked out really well for me. Okay, so now I'm going to dive into some of the questions that you guys asked on Instagram about WGO. Okay, the first question is, what is the capstone? So the capstone is a research project that you get to choose. So based on where you teach your instructional setting is what they call it, 
you identify a problem and then you come up with some sort of intervention to address that problem and then that intervention is your research project so for me i chose narrative writing in kindergarten because it is very hard for kindergartners to write especially to tell stories without like a sentence stem and stuff so you choose what your problem is and then you identify that problem and then you create an intervention to address that problem and then with that you basically just implement that intervention in your classroom and so for me because we are distance learning i um ended up creating all of the steps but then i was given simulated data based on my assessment and so i had a pre-assessment and a post-assessment obviously after before and after the intervention and so I was just given simulated data to answer that and then analyze that data. So if you are not doing this during distance learning, you would take two weeks at least to teach the intervention that you decided to do and then you see how that affects your kids scores on the pre-assessment and post-assessment. And then basically you use all that information to create a research paper and then you also create a PowerPoint about your research project. The next question is how did I know that it was an accredited program? So WGU is an accredited program. It's just as valid as going to University of Washington Masters. It's just as valid of going to any other university to get your masters. And I knew that it was accredited in my district for sure because so many different people recommended it to me and did the program as well. The next question is tips slash motivation I have to finish all the courses in six months. So to be completely honest, I was very highly motivated by two different things. One, I didn't want to pay for another term, to be completely honest. And then two, when my course instructor said that it was very un highly unlikely for me to finish in six months, that also really motivated me. And so with those two factors, I was very motivated to get it done. And so I put in the time, I put in the effort, I put in the work and I just did it. I didn't feel stressed out at all about WU because I knew that it was up to me how fast or how slow I took the program. So if I didn't finish by the six months, it's not a big deal. I would just pay again and I'd take another six months to finish it. So that really helped me as a first year teacher, like not being stressed out about my program because I knew that it was totally in my hands. There were no rigid deadlines. I wasn't like, oh, I have this paper due tonight. Like I need to do it. I never had to deal with any of that because it is self paced by you. Then to finish quickly, tips that I have for that is that I personally, once, if you're in WG, this makes sense, but when you're in the course, there's like coursework that you can work through with the readings. And so it kind of just like, here's the reading one. And then there's all these questions that you can work through. The first class I did that and it took me way longer than it needed to take. And I didn't need all those comprehension check questions. I, for the rest of the program, just took the readings, the slideshows, all the information. I just took my own notes and then used that on the assessment. So I did not work through the different questions and stuff because I didn't need to do that. So it's totally up to you how you learn best. I found that I didn't need to do that. It might be helpful for you, but that's just my tip to get through the classes faster. The next question is, did my school offer any sort of financial assistance with my master's? My school did not, however, I did receive a small discount on my WGU tuition because my school is a Title I school. The next question is, how did I find the time to juggle both school and WGU? So I already mentioned this, I would set aside one day on the weekend purely to just work through WGU. This is what ended up working best for me, and then as I said, if I like got some assessment return for edits, I would then do that like over the weeknights of the week, but that ended up only taking at max like an hour, not even that honestly, as long as the paper was good. Um, and so I ended up just doing all of my work one day a week on the weekends, and that is how I found the best way to kind of manage my time. The next question is, are the course instructors personable? So as I mentioned, I personally, did not feel the need to reach out to any of my course instructors except for my capstone course instructor. If you are looking to build a relationship with the course instructors, I know that they are very available for that. You can schedule meetings, you can email them, you can reach out to them via phone. There's a ton of ways that you can contact them if that's what you want to do, but I didn't really feel like I needed any help or had any questions or wanted to reach out and so I didn't do that except for with my capstone course instructor. I met with him like two or three times via phone. So yeah <laughs> the next question is did you feel like you were doing busy work with the assignments i did not feel that way because it was very outlined to me what assessments i would need to accomplish and finish and pass 
to be able to finish the course so i personally didn't feel like i was doing any busy work because i knew exactly what i was needing to do and i knew that i had a purpose it wasn't just like oh we have a couple extra days in the semester let's do this little paper it was very outlined very to the point and i didn't really feel like that way okay the next question is was it a lot of theory and writing so theory i don't it was a little bit the first course in the program was a little bit theory heavy it was all about the theories but the rest of the program wasn't really about theories and for writing it was a lot of writing because all of the assessments are papers okay the last question i'm going to answer is when do you recommend going after your masters i think this is totally up to you i did not plan on doing this my first year and i would not recommend starting at the beginning of the year definitely not your first year but honestly probably any year just because your sole focus like so much of your energy has to go to teaching at the beginning of the year and it's just like adjusting to your new class and adjusting to you know all the new things that come with the school year but I think it's totally up to you I personally felt like I was ready I also had a friend my other first year teacher friend who I'm trying so hard to get it to be a teacher Instagrammer but she and I did this program together so it was very motivating and encouraging to have someone do it alongside me and we kind of just like encouraged each other and motivated each other and so we both felt ready and we felt adjusted and ready to take on that so I feel like it totally depends on where you're at with teaching so overall I really really enjoyed WGU I very highly recommend it I think it's the most cost effective way to get your masters I think that it is self-paced which I love I love just how it's set up. I love how flexible it is, how straight to the point it is. I just really enjoyed my time there. And so again, I did the MS in curriculum and instruction, so I can't speak to any other master's programs there or any other BA programs there because I know each one is slightly different and has different requirements and some of them are harder and more work than others. And so again, all of this was about my program that I was in, but yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. Also make sure to hit that subscribe button. Also, if you have any further questions about WGU, please feel free to message me on Instagram or leave them in the comments down below. Also, if you are a WGU student or if you're thinking about getting your master's there or if you already signed up, let me know down in the comments so that I can encourage you and just see how many of you are actually going to WGU as well. So I hope you guys have an amazing week and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. I don't wanna stay here, no. Ain't gonna keep it low.